Hey guys, it's me, the Guinea Gamer, and today I'm gonna show you some of my favorite Minecraft texture packs. Anyways, have fun with the video. Hey guys, the uh, first one on the list is called Bare Bones, and um, basically it's Minecraft. But what it looks like in the Minecraft trailers and animations Mojang makes. Super simplistic. I really, really like the look of it. And they have a new custom GUI. Almost, almost everything's been retextured. Mobs, blocks. Like, see that turtle? It looks more simplistic. Meh. All of these have a simplistic version. And if you turn it night, give the shader a second. It still looks unusually bright. And, well, I can't really do anything about that. I mean, eh, it looks okay. But yeah. Okay guys, the next one on the list is a medieval based resource pack I use in my uh, Tectopia modded series where it didn't only have Tectopia, it also had ice and fire and, and stuff. I guess it was medieval survival series. I forget what the series was actually called. But yeah, I used this text pack in that series and I really like it. It's medieval based, like I said, and the textures look really nice. Look at this. Look at that reflection. I especially, wait, hold on, I especially like how the armor looked. I only got up the iron door, I think. I never got any of the other armors in my series, which is kind of sad. I'm pretty sure I had a diamond sword, though. I actually haven't seen most of these textures. Hmm. Hello, turtle. Ah. Ah, I missed. Parkour. Oh, what? Is that... What did it do with the parrots? What is that supposed to be? A pigeon? A seagull? I don't know. I can't tell. Who are you? Okay, and then these are some of the items. The, the uh, ender chest looks a little odd. Hmm. Doors look nice. And, oh look at this, a little globe. I haven't seen this. The updated texture pack. So I haven't seen the new 1.15 blocks yet in this texture pack. Okay, if we set it to night, Look at those stars. Look, it has this custom skybox. And, I mean, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? Does that look so mystical? Like, incredibly mystical. Really nice. Okay, guys, the next one on the list is Faithful and Faithful PBR. So, Faithful... You don't need Optifine or anything for it to look good. All it does is make Minecraft default textures 32 resolution. And what Faithful PBR does is makes things look shiny. And you need Optifine and shaders for that one to work. By the way, if you want to know, I'm using SUS RTX shaders for this. And look at this. Doesn't this look beautiful? Absolutely amazing. The armor looks a little dull. You can see a little bit of a reflection on the iron armor. Look at that diamond. I actually haven't seen diamond or emerald in this texture pack, and it looks really cool. Diamond looks very diamond-ish. Look at that stone cutter. You see a lot of shiny stuff. This is the 32 resolution items, and 
I think they stayed pretty true to vanilla. They didn't retouch the dragon head, it looks like. Look at that tree. I mean, everything looks really nice. Look at that birch wood. They didn't, uh, make the lily pads and that type of thing 3D, though. They made the ender chest shiny. Here's the stone. Here's the beds at 32 resolution. All the 32 resolution doors. I used this texture pack, by the way, in my Never Stop Gaming series recently. Oh, I accidentally made it night. Let's just fix that. Here's all the new 1.15 items in 32 resolution. Look at that button. The in the bricks. Look at that shine. Amazing. Okay guys, the next one on the list is called Mizuno, Mizuno 16 Craft. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I'm only including it because I played with this like before I did YouTube for a bit. And I liked it. I didn't really like the uh, leather armor much though. I always thought those looked like eyes, even though they're clearly uh, goggles now that I look back. And our, the ores look cool. Like, pretty much everything you're ever gonna need has been completely retextured. Which is nice. All the leaves, just everything. The mobs. Even the boat. This is like a super fancy boat. And the birch one looks a little more... Less impressive. Peasant birch boats. And then we got all these items. We got doors. What door is this? That's dark oak. Jungle. I, that's birch. And then. Here's the new 1.15 blocks. Blast furnace. That could be used as a radio, actually, with this texture pack. It looks a little bit like a vent or a radio. Huh. And at night, uh, yeah, no custom skybox. Nothing super interesting to look at. Okay, guys, the next one on the list is called Modern Arc. And it's another... Te H, uh, not HD, high resolution texture pack made for shaders. They didn't get all items, as you probably have noticed. Look at these books. Like, you see, these items haven't been retextured. They retextured torches that looks like lights. Look like lights, which I don't really like, but good for uh, modern builds. They retextured leather armor and iron armor, but they seem to have missed the vest. Emerald looks weird in this texture pack. Is that netherrack? Huh. That actually looks pretty cool. They didn't get uh, acacia doors, but they seem to have gotten most of the other doors, as far as I've seen. They managed to get uh, bushy leaves in this one, which I like. A lot. I like bushiness in items. They make it put water between wet farmland and what happens with dry farmland. Yeah. So that's how you tell if it's wet or not. That's really smart. They actually made it look like it's water in there. They retextured, uh, what were these called? Uh, furnaces, but they missed all the rest of the items. These doors aren't glitched, are kind of glitched, so I'm just gonna bring them out so you can kind of see them better. It's just shadows on them, so you can't see them very well. And that's those doors. 
They didn't retexture any of the new 1.15 blocks. Nighttime looks normal. They got brick, and brick looks actually like the brick in the other PBR texture pack. Cactuses look nice in this one. Okay, guys, the next one on the list is called Stay True. And what it tries to do is take the vanilla textures and just overhaul them just a little bit. So they try to kind of keep the vanilla look. So everything you see will look just slightly different if they even changed it. Which some things they might have not changed. Like these, I'm pretty sure have not been changed. While maybe like the wood's been changed. You have um, over overlay textures here. But you need Optifine for that to work. But the texture pack honestly looks fine without... Optifine, what was that noise? Okay then. They made birch tree leaves pink. I actually like that quite a bit. Parkour. Oh my gosh, did I just do that perfect? No way. <gasps> I am good at parkour! Okay, not actually, but you know, I finally actually made it. And the chest look really blue. Um, I honestly really like the look of this texture pack. It's just close enough to vanilla. I don't think they... Yeah, still the old skybox. They updated all the 1.15 textures too. They updated pretty much everything. So it's an all-around nice texture pack. Okay guys, the next few on the list I'm going to show all at once. I've used all of these actually in my videos in the past. They include Foliage++, plus plus, uh, OLED Craft, which makes um, the GUI dark themed. Um, what else was there? Uh, overlay textures, better 3D, and... Vanilla Tweaks. And those are all very nice texture packs. Spare 3D adds a little bit of subtle 3D-ness to items. Um, what is it? Vanilla Tweaks is super customizable, so you can add a lot of features. Like, one of the features I added, actually. I'll show you later, actually. Um... You can see the ores have a little bit of 3D-ness. This does not look flat anymore, which, <laughs> huge relief. And what else is changed? The wood looks just a little bit different, thanks to one of them, I forget. Overlay textures, as you can see, added overlay textures, hence, hence the name. I mean, that's literally what it's called. And then, looks like, uh, the, uh, default 3D, I think it's called, added a little bit of 3D stems. They made sugarcane look 3D. Mushrooms now look 3D. And even the GUI icon is now 3D. Lily pads are now 3D. All of these now have a little more 3D except for the cauldron. That's pretty much just the same. The doors have all been given 3D-ness, except for... No, yeah, they've all given a little bit, been given a little bit of 3D-ness. All the new 1.15 blocks just has a hint of 3D-ness now. And at night... Uh, that's why I keep forgetting the name. Uh, Vanilla Tweaks, I had... First of all, give, uh... Make the size of blocks lower, like... Let's get mycelium. You see how the sides of the blocks go, uh, I'll show it. Go lower, that's, uh, vanilla tweaks. And then I made the moon round. Because, well, I, I, I like a round moon. That's just a thing I like. Right? But yeah, these are a very nice group of texture packs. But anyways, guys, that's all the texture packs 
I have for you. Thanks for watching. Maybe check out my Discord if you haven't had, had haven't done that already. It's in the description with all the links to the all the texture packs I used in this video and the map I used for this video. Anyways, guys, bye.